going everyone this is pd prowlock and it is the preview for the game on thursday night between liverpool versus newcastle united eight o'clock kickoff down at anfield us coming off the back of that four nil hammering against leicester city on sunday what an absolute force of a performance that was particularly in the second half where we just completely gave up and uh, liverpool coming off the back of a one nil um home victory against aston villa last saturday so a trip to Anfield on Thursday night. And I've got to say, I don't think we are going to get anything out of this game. This game, I think, is going to go, going to be a complete and utter write-off. It really, really is. And God knows what could happen to us in that game as well. My, my word. Persist with the same team. We, I think we know what will definitely happen. So I think Eddie Howe has got to look at making some changes in that side eh, for Thursday. Particularly in defence possibly midfield wise and possibly maybe up front um as well because <sighs> yeah you could really really fear what liverpool are gonna do what salah Mane, and any <laughs> out of their other players out of their squad are really really capable of doing to us on thursday night <sighs> Jeery deary me. I mean, we've got no, haven't reported any new injuries, which is good. But I think we need a bit of rotation in the side. As again, players some players need to come out. Possibly a formation uh, change wouldn't be so bad uh, for this game um, as well. Not five at the back, but possibly a four three three. I don't I don't think would be so bad as well. We could look at doing that as well. But we'll just wait and see. So, there you are, but um, my word. Yeah, I think, as I said, changes-wise, I think Lascelles needs to take it out 100%. My word, if he starts on uh, Thursday night, oh my God. You look look his performance against Leicester. It was that rank bad. Standing there, slow as anything. Awful defender. Not a captain anymore at this football club. And the latest news I've heard now is that Aubameyang has now been stripped of the captaincy at Arsenal because he's not performing and there's other issues going on there as well. If Arsenal can do that, we certainly could do that with Lascelles because he's not performing otherwise as what a captain should be. There's no leadership out on that pitch. It's as simple as that. Midfield-wise, I'll be looking to take possibly Joe Willock out. Could you recall the likes of Hayden? And a lot of people have been saying this. Hendrick as well, maybe. Uh, pff, again, poss it's a possibility. Maybe uh, in the attacking-wise as well. Up front, possibly, um, as well. ASM to be taken out. It's not a bad shout. He's not becoming a team player. He's hogging on the ball far too many times um, as well. And... It's really, really grinding on us fans. It really is. Miggy, I thought, offered nothing against Leicester as well. So, again, it's not a bad shout to look at to take him out um, as well, massively. One of them, I think, should come back in the side. And that is at the back, Federico Fernandez. It's as simple as that. I mean, put this thingy to one side and say, right, our captain's not performing. We, we are going to put you in the side. On Thursday, because you can work well alongside Fabian Cher. Our captain has been utterly useless this season, and that is, in, and that's true. He's been absolutely useless all season, Jamal Sells. So it's as simple as that. End of. Well then, I'm going to go into the predicted lineup for what I think Eddie Howe should should technically go with. I know I'm saying, um, saying we should drop certain players, but we're not expected to um, get anything out of the game. So, again, why not tweak a few things? It's as simple as that. So, there you are. So, start off in goal, Martin Dubravka. He is the number one goalkeeper for a reason. So, I'm not going to make a change there. And um, that's I'm keeping that as the, uh, the same. Simple as that. The back four. Right back spot, Javier Manquio. He did have a good game on Sunday, but he's our best right back, and I'm certainly not putting Emil Kraft in there. Absolutely no chance, because my word, that would be even worse. So there you are. And left back spot, stick with Jamal Lewis again. Not a good game on Sunday, but again, he's a recognised left back. I don't want to put Richie in there because Richie's 
lost a lot of pace now. And my word, if um, Salah is up against him, I dread to think well, what could happen. But again, let's, you see Lewis could get torn a bit. But again, I think we are expected to get that anyway. So there you are. So I, I am going to stick ahead Jamal Lewis in left back. Centre backs, stick up with Fabian Shea. Again, it wasn't a great game as well, but he had to cover because our brain dead captain just wasn't there. Simple as that. And he had to go and cover, and it was hard for him to do it, to do two jobs at the same time. So I have, that is why I will keep Fabian Shea in the side. In alongside him, let's get him in. Federico Fernandez. Look at what he did when he came on against Norwich City. Look at what he did. Simple as that. Put him in there alongside Fabian Shea. And let's see what the both of them can do, possibly. Because if LaSalle starts on Thursday night, oh dear me. Oh my word. So there you are. So that is the back four I've gone with. The three in midfield. So first, stick with John Joe Shelby. Hopefully that was just a bit of a one-off for him. Because it wasn't good against Leicester. But Eddie Howe's been working him with a lot in, um, in on the training ground with him as well. So... I will, that's why I'll keep Shelby in there. Um, next player in there, I'm going to bring in Isaac Hayden in for this game as well. And he could help, help as well, protect the defence um, as well, if he possibly can. Because Willick's not performing. He's really, really not at all. And you just look at his attitude on Sunday. It was rotten completely. So I'm thinking, why not take him out and get Hayden in there? And see what he can do. And the last of the midfield roles in the centre. Now, this you may think this is a bit of a strange one in there. But we've said it. We said it yesterday. I'm going to put Joe Linton in there. But maybe look towards him more left centre of midfield. Because look at what he was doing. He's tracking back a lot to try and win the ball back. And he was the only player that stood out for me on Sunday. Because the rest of the squad couldn't be asked to do out. So I'm going to put Joe Linton in there. And let's see if he can help out it there as well. He could still look to push forward um, as well. But let's try him a bit more into midfield and see what he can do there as well. Now, the tacking three up front. So first of all, right-hand side, I'm going to go with Jacob Murphy. I thought he wasn't too bad when he came on against Leicester. He was looking to try and get balls in the box. Put him in there and let's play him a little bit more as a bit further forward out on the right hand side and let him get those crosses into the box. So that is why I think he should be given an opportunity on Thursday night. Left hand side, I'm going to go with Ryan Frazier. Again, tried when he come on against Leicester as well. Wanted to get, was looking to get balls in as well. Again, not a bad shout to put him in there and see if he can do the same as well. So there you are. Now, up front as the striker, Callum Wilson. I will keep him in there because he is our number nine. And if you want goals, you're going to need to give him the service. And I think Fraser and possibly Murphy could look to do that for him. I really, really think we could do that. So, yeah, as you can see, out on the wings, I've took out ASM and I've took Miggy out. They did nothing. Miggy offered nothing. And ASM was just holding up the ball far too long. Trying to do all this fancy stuff, which isn't working. And he's getting found out massively. So maybe a game or two on the bench, just so he can learn his lesson um, a little bit. Because it's really frustrating now on our fans. Fans were chanting uh, to him, Maxi passed the ball. And he was blatantly not doing that. So that is why I've said maybe take him out for a game or two. So there you are. So that is the predicted lineup that I've gone with. Do you think Eddie Howe should go with that? Tweet the formation um, around as well. I don't think it's a bad shout. We're not expected to get anything down there. Certain individuals uh, did not perform on Sunday um, as well. So give some of the other players a bit of a, a run around and see what they can do. Um, as well. Score prediction. We're not going to get anything out of this game. Absolutely no chance. So I'm going to say Liverpool are going to win this game by four goals to nil on Thursday night. So that is my score prediction. Let me know as always how we'll go in this game. None of you is. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to be feeling absolutely confident at all for Thursday night. Um, your predicted lineup. Do you think Eddie Howe should tweak a few things? Take some players out? 
put some uh, different players in the side. To me, I've said it, it's not a bad shout. And um, your score prediction there uh, will be, which I expected people are going to say, it's going to be a loss uh, on Thursday night massively um, as well, definitely. Um, I will give me quick thoughts after the game, and there'll be player raids um, as well. And also tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, we are going to do the PED's football live show. So feel free to come in. I will put the link down in the chat as always. And um, I'll see you in the waiting room and bring you on. And we can have a chat about the game from Sunday and also the how the game going into Thursday and also any other news that uh, comes out um, as well. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like. Drop your comments in as always. And please, if you haven't checked me out before, please hit the subscribe button. Catch us all here. Take care. Well, I think we expect an absolute drubbing on Thursday night.